I can also use so called simple international English so that most of you will understand me easily, including our guest. I hope. So I'm here um, uh, as a representative of elder generation. This is one role, and my second role is I'm almost official uh, representative of the administ of administration of our university as a vice dean of computer technology and control uh, faculty. And uh, of course, Vitaly a bit was a bit exaggerated when saying that. I also contributed a lot on, into this event. I never minded. <laughs> That's true. 35 years ago, I was also heavily involved in the information system, but we had no idea of open information society in late 60s and early 70s. We were using so-called big man frames, and we were quite close society having nothing around to help us. Now the situation considerably changes. And uh, the fact that all of you is here is just proof of this, that information system turned into almost psychological, psychological uh, event. This is not only information, this is falls close together with the philosophy. And our esteemed guru, our respected guru is here. He is one of the founders of this trend in information system and we do hope that his lecture will contribute a lot to our understanding of the, this trend and will make a bridge between different uses of this platform. And finally, I would like to, get to, to congratulate all of the all of students and postgraduate, all, all our guests, that last week we had a big event. Our university won a specific contest, which was held by the Ministry of Education of Russia, and we were shortlisted in 12 universities among more than 100 to bear a specific status, which is called National R&D University. Uh, research and Development University, and we do hope this will also help us to take part in development of these ideas. So, please, I will give a floor to you, if no one would like to add something. Thank you very летом на Небокэмпе. Небокэмп — это такой формат конференции, который называется Баркэмп. Это не конференции, где люди принимают активную часть, где они не только слушатели, они имеют возможность принять участие в организации мероприятия и принять, сделать презентацию, что угодно. Так вот, этот формат Баркэмп появился в 2005 году. Крис Мессина и компания создали этот формат. Они провели первый Баркэмп, И это не будет тема нашей презентации сегодняшней, но на автопатии, которая состоится после, это все можно будет обсудить. Все, тогда я передаю слово Крису. Начинаем нашу лекцию. Good evening and uh, welcome. I very much appreciate the opportunity to come here and speak to you. I come from San Francisco and uh, it's quite an honor actually to be here. Добро пожаловать, здравствуйте, здравствуйте, очень рад, что вы здесь. Я специально, чтобы встретиться с вами, приехал аж из самого Сан-Франциско. So uh, this will be an interesting uh, experience for me to translate. I work in the web and standards, of course, are a big part of my work. And so, because we don't have a standard language, we have an interesting sort of interpretation, so we'll see how this goes. And Alright. So I'd like to start first by giving you a little background about myself. Um, 
I had an interesting experience even coming here to this university where I forgot our passport, our identification at the hotel and had a challenging time getting in. Достаточно было сложно попасть сюда, потому что я забыл свой паспорт в гостинице, поэтому было кстати сложно пройти через охрану. And so, well, we were successful, of course, coming in, but it reinforced the idea that identity is very valuable and a very important idea, uh, especially for an individual to have some, some control over. Мы, конечно, нам удалось сюда войти, но это еще раз подтверждает ту идею, что личности, удостоверение личности очень важны в нашей жизни. So, in any case, uh, on the internet, I go by Chris Messina, on Twitter and StatusNet, and in general. And I'm also a, a technologist, a designer, a consultant, I work for myself, and a general advocate of the open web. I've been involved in several communities, pushing the open web board, among them, microformats for doing uh, lowercase semantic web, the Barcamp community, which is an event organization, and I helped to create hashtags on Twitter to help people organize through micro-blog posts. And I started my work in, in open source in 2004 when I moved to Silicon Valley and I helped work on the marketing for the Firefox web browser working on a community called Spread Firefox. Я начал свою работу в 2004 году и работал над программой Сало открытым годом, а также над Firefox, позволяя разрабатывать им стратегию маркетинга и другие вещи. I left the Mozilla project and I helped to co-found another web browser called the Flock browser, which incorporated social features into the browser. Я помогал разработать браузер Mozilla, но также и совершенно отдельный браузер под названием Flock, в котором были интегрированы еще какие-то возможности работы с социальными сетями. And then I left Flock because they wanted to build a browser for MySpace and decided to go work on the OpenID and, and other communities. И потом я покинул компанию Flock, потому что они хотели разработать браузер вместе с MySpace и стал работать над какой технологией как OpenID. Okay. And of course, I've, I've been involved in several other communities, uh, largely from the technology perspective, even though, again, I'm, my, my training is in design. So, uh, so this gives you sort of, a, I guess, a sense uh, for who, who I am, things that I've worked on for the past several years. Um, but this talk is, I think, more about uh, who you as individuals think you are, and who you want to present to the world. No, the deal is this near at home, to the attacker as any mice, as the at home, uh, Kim, we see that Muslims are legit, and see Kim, we had to show the last person to be. So, to start with, identity is really a collection of, of attributes or connections, relationships to people, to things, and so on. And so, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how that shows up online. И вот это понятие личности, оно является неким собранием атрибутов и связей со внешним миром. И мы попытаемся посмотреть, как же это можно представить в сети. So this could be familiar to some of you. If you do a search for me online and you find my Facebook page, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, here's my profile photo and several of my friends. And, uh, go ahead. Это скриншот, наверное, вам знаком. Если вы открыть Facebook и поищите меня, то вот это то, что вы увидите. Вы увидите мою фотографию и мои фотографии. What's significant about this page is that Facebook decides how to present this page to the world. In other words, I can't change how this looks. Важно то, что именно 